Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Post Review Friday. If you are new to my channel, every Friday, well, most Fridays, as long as I have a post review to share, I like to talk to you about kits that I finished, uh, go over pros and cons and things I might have done differently or I wish were different with the kit. And yeah, we just go through all of that fun stuff. So today I'm here to talk to you about this amazing kit. <laughs> I love this kit so much. So I finished this in July. I think this was my last finish of July, finally catching up with post reviews. Um, and if you watched my month in review, then you know that this is my favorite finish of the month. I just absolutely adore this image. Now, I love otters. They have a very special meaning to me. So I pretty much collect not pretty much. I collect all of the otter kits that Diamond Art Club comes out with. This was one of the first that they shared. They come out with more uh, this year, which is super great for me because I love them all. But it must be, otters must be a thing for a lot of people because um, I just see them being very popular right now. So this kit is called Otter. It's by the uh, artist Patrick Lamontage probably said that wrong. It's a 59 by 43 centimeter round drill kit and something is making this oh weird. This container is like bulging up for some reason. Anyway, um, I don't really have anything too bad to say about this finish. I absolutely love how this kit was rendered. Now for a smaller size, this is a 59 by 43. So it is definitely a smaller size for me personally. Um, but I think it's still rendered just like absolutely perfectly. I don't think it needed to be bigger. I think all the detail came across wonderfully in this size. And it was really fun to work on because it was just a bit more manageable. Um, in terms of like actually working on the kit, in recent post reviews, I've been talking about issues I've had with Diamond Art Club adhesive uh, with their poured glue. And I'm pretty happy to say that this one was definitely an improvement to some that I've worked on recently. There were still a few spots that were super slippery. And I just think that that's a Diamond Art Club thing at this point. I try not to harp too much on stuff like that, but I do feel like there's still a little bit room for improvement in my personal opinion. Um, I do just at times find their poured glue to be just a little bit slicker than I would like. Um, but I didn't have any like big issues with that, which was nice. I really enjoyed the process of working on this kit. Um, I also really liked the mixed um, color blocking and confetti. So if you look in the background, ignore these drills that I've added. We'll talk about that in a second. But like up here, you see there's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different shades of blue, but it was very much color blocking because you can just see the lines that you were dealing with. And then when you got into the otter himself, it was definitely more confetti heavy. I personally enjoy a mix of both in my kits. I don't like super, super full confetti paintings. They drive me nuts. They just take me too long to do, but I do enjoy confetti because I feel like it keeps me like it keeps my mind engaged. It keeps me like wanting to work on the kit. When it's all color blocking, I can get a little bored of it, but this was a really great mix of both. So if you're looking for a kit that you want a healthy dose of both, this is definitely the one for you. This did recently restock, so it might still be available on Diamond Art Club's website. I know it hasn't been discontinued. I just don't know if it's out of stock at this point. Um, I absolutely loved the AB placements with this. The one thing that I do wish is I wish that this kit came out after they started doing their fairy dust drills. I've talked about that in a few videos recently and I'm obsessed with them. And I think that this kit would have been so neat with some of those fairy dust drills. But we did have two ABs in this one. So we had this, this like cream color one right here and that is all throughout the otter so wherever you see this light shade of fur it's this ab and it's amazing it looks so cool i think that that was such good placement because obviously otters live in the water <laughs> so they're always 
for the most part, they're always wet or damp in some way. And I feel like the AB just kind of plays off of the water that would glisten off their fur. So I really loved that. And then we did have uh, 131, which was in his eyes. So that was fine. I mean, could have, you know, take or leave that one, but I loved the cream color throughout him. Now, I do wish that they had given us a blue AB in the water. I feel like there should just always be an AB in the water. <laughs> so I did actually mess around with these bubble drills from DP with sparklers. I used the color River and I put those in for... Oh, I added my own AB, didn't I? I did do that. Okay, hold on. We'll go back to that. Um, I put the bubble drills in for the shade 334, which is this like kind of medium blue. I thought the color was kind of close. Um, I love these, but I feel like they're a little bit difficult to work with. I don't know if this was the best use of them, but... I still like them, so I kind of just randomly placed them in the water. I don't love how this cluster turned up, up, turned out up here, but I feel like along the bottom, they look nice. I think I like them at least, um, because I think where the otter would be floating, maybe you would have like some little ripples, and I just thought that the bubble drills were cool, but I don't know that they're the perfect fit for this kit. I don't know that I found the perfect kit for them just yet. So if you've worked with them, please let me know because I have, I think, four of the colors and I think they're just so neat. I just don't know the perfect way to use them. So let me know if you've given those a try. But I did also add in a light blue 3325 AB of my own and that is just sprinkled throughout the water, which I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just that really light AB right there. I love the light blue ABs. So that was that. Those were the changes that I made. As far as drills, I had plenty of every color. I was not concerned about running out of anything. I do have two containers here. This one is trash and this one is just like random drills that fell or whatever while I was working. So those, those don't count, but these do. And I have to say for a Diamond Art Club kit with their um, round drills. I was quite happy with the trash drill situation. Oh, geez. Because this is all I had. So pretty pumped about that. Uh, I felt like these drills were much better than some that I've been working on late, working with lately. Um, so all in all, a really good experience with this kit. I did really enjoy it. So that is the diamond painting itself. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've worked on this one because isn't he just so cute? And look at the shine. Oh, I love him. Okay, so that's the kit. Those are the drills. Let's talk about my accessories. So I already talked about the special drills. These are both from DP with Sparklers. My cover minder, I believe is from Galloway's Gallery. I will link their shop down below. My tray is from Muni Made. This is their older style where the grid lines are all the same height. They've since changed it. Some of these are a little bit shorter, but I have not picked up any new ones lately. But I love these like translucent jewel toned ones. My, tr my tray, no, my pen <laughs> is this one here from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. I always tend to match these two together because you can see that like darker blue shimmer. I feel like it matches quite well. So there's that one. One of my favorite pens. I just like how unique it is. And then for my putty, I used this sample from Putty Ella Mud in Summer Boardwalk. So that is this kit. <laughs> this is again, it's Otter by Patrick Lamontage. I apologize if I'm saying that incorrectly. It's a round drill, 59 centimeter by 43 centimeter. Um, like I mentioned before, this did recently restock, so it could still be available. Um, I do have a link to Diamond Art Club in the description box. It is an affiliate link if you're a first-time purchaser. Uh, there's also a code down there that you can use if you are so inclined. Um, but that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's post-review Friday. Thank you so much for hanging in with me while my schedule is a little bit funky, but 
we've got a couple weeks left and then we'll be back in the fall time and hopefully I'm able to get back to my usual schedule. So with that, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.